Welcome everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy and today I'm gonna to be giving you a prediction reading for the 29th of May. Now I am here with my dog guys. I've got Spocker over here and I've got Sophie here talking with her tail. You guys know what she's like. She likes to chat with her tail. Um, it's a bit cold outside today and windy so we thought we'd shoot it inside. Um, what have I got to say? Oh, there was a big earthquake down in Melbourne, Victoria. The Yes, the most locked down city in the world other than China. Apparently they had a big tremor there today. Um, that's about all here in Australia. Oh, Elbow's going to come on tonight and talk about the big voice, Indigenous voice vote again. Um, he's push, 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 guys, with this big voice vote. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, that's about all. So we'll not close our eyes. We'll get started and we'll see what comes up. I'm getting all these radicals. I feel like there's all these radical movements globally. Um, people coming out of the closets and just being radicals. Um, uh, it's, it's actually saying left-wing extremists. I'm getting all these radicals. We know that there is. We know that there's been the um, pride target, um, Budweiser, all this, everything. It's just being thrown in our faces. But I am getting there's this extremist, there's this extremism going on. I think we could all agree with that, but there's going to be more of it. Um, I don't think it's going to stop with just all this transgender and sports thing. I think there's even more to come. See, this is a lot of stuff that we didn't, we sort of did see coming, but we didn't see coming. We didn't see it to the extent that they were going to push it. Um, so I'm getting this radicalization. These are just the kind of words I'm getting. There's more of this to come. Um, hang on a minute. Wait on. God, I'm getting these global warnings. <laughs> Not global warming. Global warnings. We're getting more and more global warnings about um, everybody's future and where it's heading and where we're being taken. We're, we're getting warned about our future and that if we don't act smart and if we don't fix everything, then things are going to be very dire. And they're going to use the children, like your kid's future, um, your grandchildren's future. You're, they're not going to have a safe earth. They're almost showing me like that kind of, I'm getting that desert-like like, if you've ever seen Mad Max, it's a movie here in Australia. I think there's a few of them, actually. Um, Tina Turner actually sang a song in one of those. I think she even starred in one of them. Um, this Mad Max image where everyone's, like, living in this desert, outback Australian desert, where there's, like, no trees, no greenery. I guess you could say it's, like, one of those war-torn, uh, is it Afghanistan countries where there's no trees? That That's the kind of image that these... Um, leaders and that are going to start to paint soon that we're all going to end up like this Armageddon like everything's just going to fall apart and that's where our children's future and our grandchildren's future lies it's all going to just collapse and that's the visual of the future if we the people now don't get our act together and do all these smart things and change everything um, for a better life moving forward that's what we're going to get shoved in our face soon visuals of just the destruction of the earth. Um, that's that's just the visuals I'm getting that are going to be shoved in our faces soon. Oh my god! I'll leave a film clip to my of Mad Max to my um, Facebook page, guys, so you get an, get an idea of the kind of um, image that I'm getting given in my head. It's that desolate, like with the dune buggies driving through and everything's like just dust. There's no sort of life. No life energy. <laughs> well, that's what they're going to tell us. We know that's not true. We know on this channel that is not true. Um, why can't you just plant a tree and have more trees? But see, all this is like never talked about, is it? It's not talked about. Uh, we know on this channel we plant trees, we plant vegetables, we, we do lots of things. We spend a lot of time out in nature. We know that that's healthy for us. That's why it keeps us staying in our kind of power. But th when they're building these, mm, what would you call them? I guess little satellite cities or these little oh, cheaper housing. Notice that. We've got some here in, in Canberra, an hour from where I live, and they 
they're like these little towns, but you can reach out and I've told you about them before. You can touch the house next door and they're just separated by a wooden fence and they have no yards. There's no trees. It's always, sh everything's shared, the shared playground. Um, <clears throat> so they have no yards, no nothing. This is the way of the future. We know that it is because it's more affordable, more sustainable, and they can control and track and trace you. We know that the smart cities that they're working on. So this is what we're going to sort of see more of, less trees, but just more concrete jungles, I guess, is the image that I'm getting. Um, yeah, it's just so weird, isn't it? It's just so weird, but that's what we're going to be fed. If we don't act fast and do everything right and help our fellow man, then you're going to be living in this desert, like Afghanistan kind of image, um, with no life. You're going to be scrambling to survive. That's what the kind. And I know that sounds extreme, but that's what they're giving me. That's the image. That's the image these leaders, that's not what's going to happen. That's just the image the leaders are going to give us to try and trick us into, holy crap, we better act fast and get all our solar panels and get our electric cars and save this planet to save our kids and our grandkids from having to live this horrible life in the future. Oh, it's all just a big made-up story. Yet another one. What do you call it? Fiction? Fiction, isn't it? A fiction story. Um just the same old, the same around the uh, jab wheel. It was a little bit like fiction, wasn't it? Because a lot of things like that didn't really end up being very true. Anyway, just another chapter in the uh, clown world story, <laughs> storybook collection. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting England, I'm getting England's waking up. They're waking up, they're seeing, their eyes are opening big time in England. Um, because people are drowning, they're drowning, drowning in debt, drowning in financial debt. Um, we are having a nurses strike here on Wednesday, I think it is. I'm not sure if it's New South Wales or where it is, but there is a big nurses strike happening on Wednesday here in Australia. But in England, people are drowning. They're drowning in debt. Um, they're drowning in sorrow because they're trying to cope with this. Um, the grief of their old lives disappearing. Um, nothing feels the same anymore. People are really struggling. Um, I am getting that for England. Hang on. I'm getting it. There's a lot going on in the UK Parliament at the moment. There's a lot of talks, a lot of arguing, a lot of um, planning. We know Sushi would be planning his little red rug. Reset rollouts. So there's an enormous amount of planning going on at the moment in the UK. They have to get this moving forward. Sushi knows he has to get onto it. He has to get this. Um, it's saying under his belt. So if I think of under his belt, it's either like tucking it in so it's there to stay and everything looks neat or it's below his belt, meaning it's done and dusted and he's got everything rolled out. So that's what I'm getting for Sushi in the UK. He, he's really pushing this now. He's pushing his narrative forward. Um, but at the moment, there's a lot of discussion in the parliament of how to go about all of this, how they're going to go about this, what the future's looking like in the UK. Um, of course, how people are going to react because as they knew, 15-minute cities in Oxford and was it Sheffield and yeah, it didn't go down so well. So they've got to try some different tactics. We know that because... When you try one tactic and people stand up and fight back, they have to try another tactic because it's not working because they don't want people working out. Like I said, they do the tricky road closures and pretend they're just they're just um, making your roads more aesthetically pleasing and everything. But meanwhile, they're putting up the bollards and all the blockage um, and the paving and all this kind of stuff. So I'm still getting that for the UK. There's a lot of discussion in Parliament at the moment. <clears throat> all right. getting hippo i'm getting new zealand and i'm getting that in new zealand hippos looking at the road the road it's saying closures but it's the roads um less traveled it's like the roads less traveled um he might start blocking roads that aren't traveled a lot he might be looking at the main road structures i am getting that hippo starting to close off um old roads that um can take people off the beaten. Oh, people in New Zealand, they're tired of this. 
but I feel like he's closing off old roads to take, stop taking people off the beaten track. <laughs> oh, we went off the beaten track a long time ago if you're watching my channel here. But I am getting that for sushi. He's looking at a few road closures again. It could be that. Hopefully not the 15 minute cities, but it's sounding a little bit like he's blocking certain roads um, and just saying they're not viable to be open anymore because it's like maintenance on the roads, like the potholes and all this, um, it gets too costly. So we're going to barricade that off and stop people from going down there. We're terminating certain routes. I feel like he's looking at the roads. There's a lot going on with the roads in New Zealand. Let me know anyone over there if you know any of that's going on. But I'm feeling this terminating of the roads. Um, it's almost like, see, Hippo is working his own way now. We know that he is. He wants people to think. Oh my God, people in New Zealand had a gut full of all this. He wants people to think that he's really got all this sorted um, and he's doing everything that's going to be right for the people. So he's very, very clever in his wording too, that he will make this sound like this is, uh, the people will be the only ones to gain from all this because if they close these certain roads and all this kind of stuff, um, which as we know stops people moving around, um, there's going to be more money and um, things just kind of, Put, and resources to put into your roads and um, build the structures a lot better. And you're the only ones that are going to benefit, of course, the little people. That's how Hippo's going to sell all this, that there's only ever benefit for the little people. He's, he's always got the people's best interests at heart. That's what I'm getting for Hippo. Oh, he's learning. He's learning how to navigate this without shining a light on it all. Um, so I feel like that's where his focus is at the moment is on the road structures in New Zealand. All right, let's see what else we get. Get an elbow and hippo are going to become like joined at the hip. I do feel like there's this real close relationship they're going to start to have down the track where they're very interconnected. New Zealand, Australia will be very interconnected, um, obviously with what's being rolled out. But there's this interconnectedness. Eventually, we'll probably be seen as just one, well, sort of not one country really, but one connected country. This is long term. Moving forward, um, they want to have good relations together, both of them, elbow and hippo. So I'm seeing a real connectedness between New Zealand and Australia. Look at Germany's rising. God, are they? We don't know. Um, I keep getting Germany's rising because Germany's scared. I keep saying Germany's scared because of the way they've implemented the harsh, ooh, the harsh punishments and things on people over there. Germany is getting scared now because they don't want to relive their past. I keep saying it. So Germany wants, well, they want to stand. Um, their frequency's coming up. People are waking up. People are wanting to stand up. <laughs> Fingers they do. I keep getting Germany. Um, let's see what's happening in Paris, France. For some reason I'm getting Paris, France, London. Paris, France, London. It's almost like people are looking at London. I wonder why they're looking at London at sushi. Just getting Paris, France, London. Maybe Macron's going to pay London a visit or talk to Sushi or Sushi's coming over. Uh, maybe there's some connection there. I'm just getting Paris, France, London. Paris, France, London. I'm seeing pictures of people in the streets of Paris and France with umbrellas and like bricks and parts of buildings are falling down on them. I'd say this is getting worse in France. It's becoming a real heavy... Um, it's, it's almost saying to me it's becoming unsafe. France and Paris, things are becoming unsafe in certain parts. Um, and the umbrella, having an umbrella is not even going to protect you from almost, it literally might be the debris that's falling from buildings or it's the fallout of, you know, Macron and what's going to be the fallout from all these people fighting and protesting um, because he's becoming a very angry little man. They're showing me him really angry like this, like with his fists. He's so angry at the people for highlighting this to the sort of rest of the world. Um, not that it is really because it was on mainstream for a little bit. They kept talking about the pension, you know, putting the pension up. 
but it was never about that. And we knew that here, but when other countries started interviewing people and that's when they talked about the cost of living, control and tracing and all that, and they don't want that out. So everything, notice how it's all been squashed on the mainstream media. So Macron is really angry and, and pissed off at it, at his people. He, he See, he still thinks people should just trust him to run the country because he knows better. He still sees himself as above the little people and peasants. He thinks he's the one that should make the decisions. He feels like he he was voted in, so now he he's there to represent the people. That's his viewpoint. I don't think it's the people's viewpoint, um, but I am getting that from Macron. He's not well liked now. He's, he's becoming actually very hated. And that hated energy isn't good, is it? It's full of angst and fear and anxiety and hurts and and oh it's toxic isn't it so the people in france and paris are, there's a lot of toxic energy which would be people's pain bodies rising up um including macron's he's not happy at all all right let's keep going i'm getting india we had old modi here the other day and in Australia visiting, but I am getting that India's trying to spread some some good vibes. I am getting that. We, the guides actually said that having him here in Australia was really um, spreading some good vibes in Australia, and I reckon it is. Um, see, maybe, just maybe, a lot of Indians are awake. See, we don't know who's awake, who's not awake, um, and maybe, spiritually, a lot of them are awake to all this garbage and nonsense. And maybe a lot of them have seen through it and they don't like where the world is heading and what's going on. So you've got to remember too, a lot of these Indians have left their country and they've gone to other countries for that feeling of like um, to, to live a different life. And now they're really realising that they're coming into oh, dictatorships, capitalism might be brewing, um, these kind of things. So I am getting that India, I'm getting that, they're sending that good energy vibe. Indians are trying to send that good energy vibe to kind of heal the world energy is what I'm getting. They just want happiness, peace and love. That's what I'm getting for Indians. Not all, obviously, but a lot of them really want just happiness, peace and love. They want to just get on with their life and have fun. Um, it's just the way they're wired. All right. I mean, look how much they enjoy all their food and their cultural bits and pieces, you know. That's just what I'm getting. All right. See if there's something. All we can hear is a dog snoring. <laughs> They're both tired. <laughs> Who's in his pocket? <laughs> it's hard not to laugh, isn't it? Oh, they went for a big bushwalk yesterday. That's why. They had a big bush walk off lead. Oh, they go crazy. We take them on this like car track thing out near the golf course. Oh, they go mental. They love being off lead, don't they? Because the snakes are gone now. They all hibernate because it's too cold here where I live in the mountains. All right, let's see if something to close with today. And then we might do some cards. I bought my cards along, guys, as well. All right. I'm getting this funding in Parliament, and this is globally. They're going to be giving grants out. I feel like well, this would be the reward packages, but I feel like there's a lot of grants coming from Parliament. Um, I don't think they're sporting grants and things like that. They're going to be grants to... Hmm, I don't even think they're to small business. I think they're to the bigger businesses like the... Uh, like... They'll, they'll put, what's happening is they're going to pretend they're trying to save middle business. I've told you a lot here about the building industries collapsing. What is happens in Melbourne first, doesn't it? There's a lot of buildings, uh, building industry people collapsing in Melbourne that, you know, might um, employ like 100, maybe 1,000 people. Well, they're collapsing because they can't keep up with the cost of the goods, the freight, all this, and, and getting staff is probably hard as well. Um, so there's heaps of homes that are half finished that people have lost their homes now. Their money's just gone down the drain. They've had to foreclose. Um, this kind of thing going on. So now I feel like the governments globally, they're going to try and pretend they're saving some of these businesses by giving an odd one a grant, which is not saving all of them, but it's just an odd one. Like, oh, well, we'll help you out because we're a good little government and we help out our industries. So there's going to be this fake... Gr they, they, they're not fake... They're actually grants, 
but they they're going to be a chunk but it's going to be this you go into a big pool and it's just sheer luck of the draw if you get one of these grants um although as we know here you'd probably be forever in debt to your government because they would probably own the lease or own the building or we know how it goes so anything too good to be true it usually is too good to be true but they're going to pretend that they're trying to help these mid-range mid -range businesses to survive but we know they're not because they're not helping all of them they just keep putting the cost of living up and wages and rents and god the whole lot so i am getting that could start to happen but it's just that false illusion again that oh look we're really helping people they're not helping people we know that they're not they never are it's always about them and their egos and what they can implement and how they can take everybody down to nothing so they can control us all all right how about we do a healing energy card by Doring virtue oh healing with the angels um you guys really like these Doring virtue cards don't you all right you know my shuffling how <laughs> good it is all right let's see if we can get a few cards out well they're jumpy jumpy today Let's see. And the dogs are absolutely wrecked, which is a nice change. Here's one that spun around. Let's do this one. Oh, Serenity. And that's beautiful, isn't it? It just reminds me of us, like, being out in our gardens, just having peaceful moments amongst the flowers. I know a lot of you are coming into spring, aren't you, now? Enjoying your gardens. It's almost like if you see what she's doing there, she's almost reflecting too. And it is in that serenity, those quiet moments of, of peace and tranquility that you do reflect upon <laughs> probably the last three years. Um, but we find peace in those simple moments and that's what that serenity reminds me of. Us just staring at our <laughs> flowers in our gardens. Oh, retreat. Yeah, we're good at this. <laughs> retreat. We do that regularly. Look at the beautiful angel wings and the peaceful angel. And she's grounded. She's standing on the earth. And also we've got the flowing water and stream in the background. Sorry, can you see that, guys? Um, retreat. We do retreat. A lot of us, we talk a lot here about most of us retreat um, from stress pretty much. And we um, spend a lot of time in our backyards, um, just having a very simple, quiet life. And we retreat um, from all the chaos, nonsense and garbage and lies. I know a lot of you don't even watch TV anymore for obvious reasons because none of it seems real. Okay, one turned over. Oh, we got this again. We got this the other day, remember? Playfulness, living from that childlike state. I got that song, Child's Play by Sherbert, um, that Australian band, that childlike energy. We just have to keep being playful and enjoying simple things. Well, that's the message from those ones today. I also bought my Gaia Oracle pack. These are fun. These are the ones with the peace dove, the... um. And we'll see, I go to my, um, speaking of peace, you know how we're talking about moving through our fears and this kind of thing. Oh, my cards are all, just QF, hang on. Um, and moving through these kind of things. Um, let's see what we get. Oh, my cards are all, <laughs> sorry guys, my cards are, you know what I'm like? Everything goes a little bit pear-shaped. I can't even blame the dogs because they're asleep snoring. Um, so we can only blame me today. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I'm off to, sorry, getting back to, I'm off to the, see the surgeon tomorrow about my knee, so hopefully something can get done. I've been putting tiger balm on it, and it's actually working, it's helping me sleep at night, which is really good, I never thought to use that, someone suggested it the other day, so I'm now using that, so let's pull a few cards about moving forward, we always need advice on moving forward, don't we guys, moonlight goddess, Repressed emotions, healing, reflection. Well, there you go. Again. See, she's got the angel wings, the moonlight goddess, reflection. What are they? Healing, repressed emotions. See, you've got to get those things out. Well, they just stay tra trapped in your body. That actually makes sense, doesn't it, guys? Because I know we've all had our little ailments here with backs, legs, feet, ankles, everything. Knees, in my case. Um, we have to keep doing it. Oh, this one jumped out. Sacred Earth Mother. A message of love. Oh, we always get that. Look at that. Beautiful. 
and the little hand is that little hands reaching up yeah it's that love energy that love frequency again isn't it guys beautiful because love as we know here counteracts darkness and the higher that frequency comes up and people wake up the better we're all going to feel see maybe we a lot of us are empaths and um sensitive souls that we do take on a lot of other people's energies we really do we take on a lot of other people's energies oh hang on sorry my cards are all over the place oh let's see what we get we get an outcome card for dip, pushing forward moving through our fears um taking the frequency higher dealing with these energies that might be stuck or trapped in our bodies oh. okay one's gonna jump out yep there you go <laughs> there it is oh that's weird we got the actual card how's that synchronicity and it's the actual same sacred heart look this <laughs> the set of cards where are they there <laughs> we got the actual one sacred heart oh hang on let me read it in the light now I need my glasses, guys, because the writing's so small. Sorry. Passion, love, spiritual communion. Oh, see, that's interesting, isn't it? And that's really burning. If you look at that heart, it's got the burning fire around it. So really, that's about, um, if you think of communion, spiritual communion, that's like, oh, that is like being taken to a whole other level, isn't it? It's like your spiritual growth. Y you found your... Um, real place of sort of ah oh, spiritual communion that's so interesting let me know what you think about that down below guys so i find that a very interesting word but it is a little bit like that it's like we've um we just oh we just keep evolving really spiritually we keep growing and changing and but we're also moving into those higher levels okay we'll get an outcome card guys today from my angel cards i'll just pick one of these guys let's see what we get today these are cute too these are those little ones like i say put your energy on them guys let's see what our outcome is going to be around all of this fear moving forward getting to that next level all right let's see what we've all thought of see if we can all get on the same page Dropped. Hang on, I've got to get it. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Wait till you hear it. Glasses, writing's too small. Heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. <laughs> oh, so true, isn't it? Choose through love, not fear. Look at that down the bottom. That's us, isn't it? Choose through love, not fear. So it's like moving that emotion through your love state, isn't it? And not through the fear state, which we're a little bit locked in, some of us at the moment. And it's not that it's conscious, is it? It's just subconscious. Um, all right, let's see if there's one more thing to close with today. It's all just a little bit of food for thought, the cards, isn't it? Sometimes it makes sense um, just to help guide us a little bit. Hang on a minute. All I can hear is snoring dogs. <laughs> it's so off-putting, isn't it? But they're happy, aren't they? I'm getting that song by, is it Pharrell? Happiness, again. Cause I'm happy up there to sit to do that a happiness you can do. And I'm happy. Yeah, it's Pharrell, isn't it? I'm getting that song. It's such a cute song. It really is a cute song. Hang on. Out of spoken. <laughs> He's wrecked. Have a look at him. He's gone. Look at him. Gorgeous. And then Sophie, she's gone. Look, they're so wrecked today, aren't they? Oh, funny. Hang on, let me see if there's any more music. 
It's like the snoring orchestra in the background. Distracting it today with this thing. Oh Hang on. I'm trying to get the beat of the song and all I can is God, I'm getting this really old song and it's that try to remember the day of September. When things would follow, and things were mellow. Try to remember the day in September. I don't know what that song's about. I don't know at all, but I'm getting that song if it means something to anybody. That's an old song, isn't it? Right, hang on. I'm getting this song. Watch out. We're in for nasty weather. Ooh, where did I sing? Ain't you find your way to work and you are not a bad mom? To play fire with fire. Oh, who sings that song? I know it so well too. Sorry, guys. I can't think who sings it. Um, Oh, I don't even know what the song's called. Oh, my God. They give me so much crazy music. Sometimes I don't even know what the song's called. You guys have to sometimes do your research. Hello, you're very good at it. Um, you too, Catherine and Pam. You're always good at it as well. Um, Burning Down the House. <clears throat> we heard that song ages ago, remember? Burning Down the House. Oh, and it was about burning down the reset, wasn't it? And burning down the global leaders' houses, um, their parliament houses. I am getting that song burning down the house. Hang on, let me see. They're trying to get something else to me. Wait a minute. Oh, God, they're just giving me a heap of things. Wait there, I'll get something clear in a sec. Bear with me. Oh, I'm getting this song by, oh, I don't know who sings it. You decide, you decide with my poker face. Is it Lady Gaga? You don't know and you don't know. You decide, you decide and they could tell my poker face. You can up and you can not. I think it's Lady Gaga. I'm sure of it. Um, is it? I don't know. But I'm getting that song Poker Face, meaning these leaders keep a poker face when they're talking. You watch their faces. They keep a poker face. They give nothing away. Like I said, we've got Elbow talking about this voice tonight, and he'll keep a real poker face. So I am getting that poker face. And we know what the poker face means. It means they can't be trusted. These leaders can't be trusted. Um, that's the song I'm getting. Hang on a minute. Let me see if there's something for us today because that would be nice, wouldn't it? Hang on. God, they give me that Rod Stewart song again, guys. I'm going to have to finish with this. People, get ready. There's a train a coming. Go get your ticket and climb on board. This is for the Great Awakening. 
People get ready. There's a train to, is it to Georgia or Jordan? <laughs> train to Georgia? I'm sure it's train to Georgia. People get ready and climb on board. Well, that's what I'm getting for the people waking up. They need to climb on board now and get on board. Well, maybe that's a song for them. Please get on board. Rod Stewart's song, Train to Georgia. Um, I'll see if there's one more for us because I'd like us to get a nice little song to finish today. Um, hang on. Getting that song by Lionel Richie. Um, Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I've ever wanted. Your arms are open wide. And I know just what to say. I know just what to do. I want to tell you so much. I love you. I'm just getting that song for us today. I don't know why. Um, it's such a pretty song. I guess it's about love energy again. And I am going to leave you with that song today. I do love that song. It's beautiful. And it's also about, if you've seen the film clip, it's about the lady who's blind. Um, and But she still sees, like, if you've seen the film clip, I'm going to leave it on my Facebook page. Um, he's her lecturer. And she still sees him and makes this sculpture of him, even though she hasn't literally seen him with her own eyes. But she can sense and feel and, and work out who he is just from the way he talks and everything. Well, that's what we're like. We have this sense, this inner knowing. We can see things um, before we even, even though we don't see things literally, we have this knowing. And that's why I'm going to leave you with that song today. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll say goodbye from Sprocket. Goodbye from Sophie. Is she going to talk this morning? Yes. That's what we forgot to ask her about the other day. We forgot to, hang on, let us tell us off. We forgot to say, Sophie, what do you think of Trudeau? And remember the tail wagging meant, but a still tail means there. What do you think of Trudeau? Trudeau. Mm, it ain't great. Sorry, I did forget about Trudeau the other day. Oh, and there's many more. <laughs> I'm just not stopping. It's non-stop. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from the dog guys. And we've got to get them a bone. It's bone time. Let's go get the bones. All right, and I'll say goodbye from Australia and I'll talk to you very soon. Hit the like buds. Please subscribe, remember always check that and please feel free to comment down below <laughs> and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care everybody, bye.